You know how they say accidents do happen, unexpectedly and often unintentionally. Though road safety experts no longer define these unfortunate incidents involving motor vehicles as accidents, they're certainly never intended. Unfavorable weather conditions, objects on the road, your miscalculation while driving, or another driver can cause crashes, even for the best defensive drivers. That's exactly why it's important to know how to respond in these situations. So, what do you do at that exact moment? What should be your next steps? And when and how should you file a police report? For the number of reports that, are, that come to this station, um, perhaps it's on a basis of about 10 to 15 per day. That's the number of accidents per day. So after our road traffic accident, a um, person should first try to clear the roadway if they are obstructing the traffic for other uh, motorists. Secondly, um, drivers are expected to exchange vehicle documents and the document should include their registration certificate, certificate of fitness, insurance certificate and your driver's license information. Those are the essential four pieces of information that should be provided to both parties after an accident. Contact information is optional, but you have cases where a person tries to settle outside insurance and that's now a civil matter. It's an agreement between both parties, so if they want to exchange um, contact information, that's also optional depending on the intention that they have in terms of fixing the vehicle outside insurance or what. Your next step? Making a police report about the collision. This is always a good idea. That way you have proof of exactly what happened and the scope of any injuries. In terms of our approach as police officers for a motor vehicle accident, um, first the, the critical thing is to check for, for injuries, make sure that um, persons are okay. Um, if there's a need for persons to be assisted to the hospital for any um, sort of treatment, we should make sure we render assistance to persons in need of that care first. Um, secondly, we check for um, the damage for the vehicles, make sure there is no obstruction um, along the roadway and then we can treat with the documents or the exchange of particulars between both parties. After making a report of a motor vehicle accident, um, the next step that persons are advised to do is to make a, make a report to their insurance company and that's for another motorist as it relates to a pedestrian um, who are persons who are injured they are also advised to get the assistance of an attorney to file a personal injury um, claim against the, the party that is liable in the accident. For follow-up visits, um, what we do, we have cases where persons are, are seriously injured, some of which are not able to make it to the station to give a report in the first instance. So what we try to do, whether the persons are hospitalized, we ensure that visits are made and that the person's conditions are updated as we go along. As we, through the investigation, we ensure that the person's conditions are updated along the, the procedure. But, are you always required to report traffic collisions? Not in all cases, a report must be filed um, for accidents. Um, we have situations where it could be a very minor mishap. For example, someone could be reversing from their garage, they could bump their gate. So in those cases, it's not necessary for them to make a report. But for other situations involving another motorist or a case where a pedestrian or a property is damaged, a report is expected to be made because persons at times are expected to make claims, whether from their insurance company or their attorneys, based on the damage received or the injuries they've sustained. Reports from the Road Safety Unit shows that up to April 26, 139 lives have been cut short because of road crashes this year, with over 100 of those being males. And for the corresponding period last year, 136 lives were lost in road crashes. On a more global level, studies from the World Health Organization WHO show that approximately 1.35 million people die each year as a result of road traffic crashes, and 3% of most countries' gross domestic product is spent on road traffic crashes. The most common cause of motor vehicle accidents from my 
understanding it's mostly impatience on the part of some of the drivers and uh, lack of knowledge as to how the roadways should be used. And I also believe the implementation of, of traffic signs at various areas would also aid the process because most drivers are not aware of what to do at various parts of the roadway. In the face of such figures, even the most careful driver can suddenly encounter a bit of bad fortune on the road. You know that scene. Decisions can be like car accidents, sudden and full of consequences. So how about making the right decision to be responsible road users today?